Remember today's talk is more about self-discipline. How to use what you have in your pocket. Make sure that you have done something which is termed an ibadah, an act of worship every single day. Say a message of goodness. When you greet someone, greet with salam. When you respond, respond with a dua. Say some form of goodness, utter a good word, abstain from bad words. When someone says something evil, two ways of responding. If you have a link with them, you can tell them brother, you can tell them in different ways, my brother or my sister, the way you worded it, or, or you can actually say, you can word what you sent to me better. Stop. So even if they have sent you a bad word and you were too shy to say, hey, you are wrong. Because today people are, people feel very offended. And you know what happens when I tell you, sister, you are wrong. She says, right, no longer listening anymore again. And I don't want to hear anything and I don't want to know. Out. Blocked and deleted. Just because I told you what you are doing is wrong. So now we've got to enter from the side. You know a crab. Have you ever seen a crab walking? It walks. It walks forward, but it pretends like it's walking to the side. You seen it? You have a lesson to learn from it. Nowadays, we have to speak people to, to people sometimes and remind them in that way. How? So if you say, sister, you are wrong, she might delete you forever. And she might think bad. This man is, you know, very bad. And he's like this and like that. Or this sister or whatever. Rather than that, you send them a polite message, sister, you know what? What you worded or what you sent to me can be worded better. It will sound much better. They might not understand initially. But if you send that message a few times, they will get the message. And sometimes, if you have a habit of responding to a good message and not responding to a bad message, do you know what will happen? People will get the message. Every time someone sends you a good message, you say, Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah, I appreciate that message. And when they send you a bad message, don't reply at all. Even if you don't reply at all, they will get the message. This person does not appreciate the bad. And believe me, if that happens, if 20 of your friends give you that treatment, you will stop sending bad messages. I want to tell you what happened to me last night. Someone sent me a little image on WhatsApp, which was a joke. And I forwarded that message to a friend of mine. And the friend of mine immediately sent me a message to say, I know it's a joke, but I wouldn't have expected it to come from you. It was nothing bad as such. But when I thought about it, I said, yes, it could be something that doesn't sound good coming from a person who, who is looked up to by others for direction. It was something light. It was actually just a joke. Very, very light, minor, something small, an image which had in it a joke. I'm sure all of you are curious, what is it? Don't worry, you won't know. <laughs> and only when I thought about it, I'm talking of myself. When I thought about it, I said, Wallahi, this is correct. I appreciate. Immediately, I sent a message to say, true, it won't happen again. Imagine, I'm talking of my own example. Why I say this? We are talking of a real life topic today, which affects me and you. And social networking is not a shallow term. It has in it almost all aspects of my life and yours today. Whatever you want. I want to buy my air tickets. I can do it through the phone. I want to check what the price of eggs is in China. I'm sure there is an app. Allahu Akbar. It's a reality. I'm sure there is an application to do anything. So what have you done with your phone? What have you done with technology? What have you done in order to enhance your link with Allah? Like I say, think about it. Before you click send, think about it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us not from amongst those, something's come to my mind, from amongst those who are auto-corrected by our friends and those whom we mix with.